ambulance work, my technical processing kept capacity was able to get a quick checkpoint. But to do all I can is a vital proof of the river. So. <laughs> No suborders last time. So, when we last left off, we engaged in some piracy to resupply the fleet. And now, we have a decision to make. I think this, this isn't our last split, I think, in the game, but we're getting close to like the big last major in-game split. Yeah, this is the last big one. After this, if there's a the last split of the game is good ending or, or, or not good ending, but true ending or not, and we've already unlocked a true ending, more or less. I think what's left for me to do? Okay, there's an object. There's there's. Stick required in mission episode 40 in mission 47, which is not another five mission yet. But we're about there. Katie is trying to investigate the microphone, and I apologize for that. It... I should probably switch the. I don't believe I need to tell you the results of your checkup. Yes. In which case, you'll not hear it from me. Consider the case closed. Thank you, Doctor. I will say, though, until I see the Earth again, before we finally reach Iskandar, I'll keep going. Are you leaving already? I have a commander's meeting to attend. Peace, Commander. Lose you, Earthly Tenku has lost its sea. Force of the Gamelin Armada passes through the subspace gate long not long after the Yamato. What you're saying is the Balinese survivors have made it to the large Magellanic Cloud. While we man managed to keep their main force confined to that sector, we must assume that, that they now know we're out here. Close for a speedy response. I suppose propose we split Earthfleet Tenku in two, having each team get a division from the other. That would mean one group leave Princess Yurisha and the Yamato behind. Oh no, we did plan for this. Oh man, I totally wanted to say that. I'll let you provide the explanation. Alrighty then, Earthfleet Tenku's tech team came up with something based on a plan by Dr. Cassange. I present, I present to you the lovely Boson Transmitter and Receiver. And those are... Well, I'd really like to play this properly, but I'm, but I asked, yeah, Captain, the commanding command staff of the Nondisco if they'd be willing to dress up in the bunny suit and such, and the, the, uh, the rabbit suit and such, and I believe received a hearty response of hell no. At least not if Inez for Sanchez is not here. So, <clears throat> in any case, the system lets you broadcast psychowaves to the transmitter, picking them up with the receiver to make a precision boson jump. So let's say the Yamato takes the transmitter, while the Nandisco holds onto the receiver. It'll allow the Nandisco to jump straight to the Yamato. They wouldn't even need to know where it is. So of course, we'll need someone with powerful psycho waves to stay with the transmitter. Innovator or new type would work. Which makes it a bit limited in its usefulness, but think of the potential! Earthly Tenku could be our secret weapon! Well, while well, you're here now, Seiya. And to make best use of this system, it would be best to split the Nandisco and the Yamato into two groups. The Yamato will form a team of mobile suits in order to use, utilize the transmitter. That means Londo Bell, Celestial Beam, Colonel. Nandisco will have teams Mazinger, Getter, Zambot 3, Titan 3, Grave Express Corps, Eva, and Paramail for Squadron on the Mithril. So, in other words... I can clear my throat.
Nondisc Go has all the super robots. And with it also like the big cash bonuses you get for having them on your team, which is kind of which whereas Yamato has all the real robots. Which is gonna be an interesting situation. I have kind of under upgraded a lot, some but not all, of the real robots. Um Hans goes a couple for real robots. It has the Paramail, First Squadron, and Mithril. Goes all the robots. But Team Gundam is and all, all real robots. We're not we don't have G Gundam here with the borderline super robot stuff that goes on in that show. You with the Vang next, Hunk Bean and Gruden Goose. It'd be best to keep them together. Guard them is after nine. They may be headed to attack if they found a way to the large Magellanic Cloud. Very well. So, I've kind of looked a little bit ahead in my um, map split thing. That's how I tell my uh, route split thing. That's how I'm telling people tell what stuff I need to do to get the best ending and that sort of stuff. And the Yama and the plot with your second protagonist um, continues on the Yamato track, whereas the Nondisco track effectively continues some of the plot line material with uh, Brave Express and with Hormonal Panic. I kind of want to continue the OG plot, the, the, the original character plot, and see where that goes, because I feel like that's kind of narratively important, both in sense of the Gardam side of things, but also in the sense of, of that plot works better if the, like, fighting off the ultimate protagonist works better when you have the main protagonist there. Makes sense? So I'm going to the Yamato. Finally the Yamato. Even the Gardam has managed to chase us all the way here, the Gamelins won't let them pass unchallenged. I get it. They could end up taking each other out. Just hoping they throw a little... Bands that one of our teams will be put in. But still, we must, re must reach Iskandar and return to Earth. Hope we meet again. Okay. That. Okay, yeah. So I got basically four capital ships. Interesting. Lacus is with us. I think the explanation for this, um, on the RP if you go to the RPG Net Super Robot Wars Let's Play thread, which I'm also taking part in, um, they have a narrative explanation on the route that I didn't do play through, where uh, Mithril bought out the contract for the first Paramail, and so that's why they're with Mithril and with both of the but while Lacus is with us. Yeah, lots of super robots. Here. Those are our bug robots. There's a dialogue. Okay. Let's hear that before we continue. Hey, Nine. Oh, Eurisha. Fine, really. Her. So, this journey? Allowing you to be who you want to be. Um, all I wanted to say. Well, I wanted to be. That means... Oh, hey, I get to use this again. Cool. All right. Thank you. 
Lucky's Meridia, Finnerman, Lane, Dozen, and Barrett. All get the case. Congratulations on becoming an ace pilot, Captain Cinnamon. I'm sure you worked very hard to get to this point. Not every day a girl has nice things to say to me. Complain. That's nice of you to pick me as a young girl. Oh, that's definitely just how you look. You definitely aren't old. It's also just the part where you remind me a lot of Meridia in some ways. I do? I do? In what ways, exactly? You and she, you and she both depend on yourselves a bit too much. It's okay to lean on others, even guys like me. You can handle it. Thank you. I appreciate your generosity. I'll move this forward a little bit here. Sorry. You're still so young. Girls like you should be smiling and enjoying yourselves, especially on days like today. They don't come around nearly as much as they should. That could be taken a bit of a wrong way as that you should smile more thing. But considering Zinnerman's background as he's a veteran of the One Year War, he's had a very, very crappy background in terms of dead family members, um, dead comrades. I'm taking the mindset, at the, the intent behind the line as you should take advantage and enjoy happy moments whenever they come because you don't always get them. You will often get lots of really tough times. It's important to savor those happy moments when you show up. Carpe diem kind of thing. It's a cynical carpe diem. Congratulations on becoming an ace pilot, Meridia. I'm sure you worked very hard to get to this point. Next nine, nice to get to actually celebrate it. Since I died at the end of my series, so... In particular, I, I... Not only did I die, I died in a manner common with Royal Ventress and other Gundam series like, um, boy, there's just so many, um, and I'm spacing a couple of them, like the most original moments of Gundam, uh, with Lala Soon, I think both, I think one or both of the nines, the nines of the, uh, both of the blues died this way as well, so yeah. I will celebrate it as well. I understand that you're right, quite the fan of ice cream, so I brought some for you. What the? How, how did you know that about me? I have my ways of getting information when I need it. By which I mean, I talked to the clues. Well, I'm impressed. I'll just help myself then. I'm rather happy when you get the chance to eat ice cream. Yeah, so what? I don't see what the problem is. Oh, I'm not saying you should be happy. I think you have a nice smile. That's all. I'm smiling. I'm smiling too, you know. I guess smiles are contagious with androids like me. Alright, that's two levels up. Let's save my game. Since levels up. Actually, before I save my game. Alright. Oh, hey. You oh, I didn't know that about those cats. Uh, Ptolemaeus has, has repair ability. No. Alright, Quant's pretty much in good shape. Oh, 
Alright, let's lose some of these. Alright, touch an energy cost. Without let's. Burgers in pretty good shape. Double Zeta is in pretty good shape. One's pretty heavily leveled up. Unicorn's pretty heavily leveled up. This is very heavily Okay, Penelope is next. You haven't had every none of you have had your weapons upgraded or your accuracy upgraded. Let's points or blocks weapons. Now we'll see. Let's just pick a different slot. Alright, next mission, uh, we can get through today, do last time. No, that can't be. Sorry, Bright, I thought you should know the truth about my condition. If I don't make it, I want you to take over the command of Earthfleet Tenku. Interesting! Wright isn't the person who takes command of... Well, obviously, Wright's not in Yamato. But he picks... Um, Okuda picks... Uh, oh, his name's on my head. The medical officer. Come on, don't talk like that. That Hathaway. Good kid. Yeah. I lost my son in the war. Not just my son, either. I've seen countless young people die in battle over I have no fear of regrets about dedicating my life to secure the future place of those who didn't make it this far. I have someone like you to trust my legacy to. Youngsters like Kodai and Shima, who I know will go on to do great things in my absence. Kodai takes command of the Yamato after he dies. I understand. But I plan on returning to the Earth, Earth with you. I know Kodai and the others feel the same, if not more so. Sir? Right. I'll make you a promise. Do everything in my power to stay alive, as long as my mission... Thank you. Remember as a child hearing tales about the Sea of Stars. Large Magellanic Cloud. Now look at us. We're actually... After this battle is all said and done, the history of humankind will likely be changed forever. It's up to us to ensure that history is written. To do that, we have to protect the Earth. Yes, sir. This is my first time we've actually had Bright talking about, hey, we're... We have gone where no man is, or no human has gone before. The survivors of um, Balan will try to come after us? We put them to shame, but likely want to try and save face and get their revenge. And it sure looked, felt good to stick it to them like that. Felt good for us, sure, but for them, everything they trained and lived for just got crushed in an instant. And humiliated. Yeah, but do you think they'd come all the way through the trouble of coming? Do you think they really go all the way, go through all the trouble of coming all the way? Ah, I can talk. They go through the trouble of coming all the way out here just for revenge. Well, about that, based on the data that we've gathered thus far, there's a very good chance that Gamblers could have a base here in the large Magellanic Cloud. If that's true, we put ourselves in the middle of our most dire enemy's grasp. Yes, there's a significant chance that Gamblers will see our attempt here as a, our presence here as an attempt to start a battle. Maybe get revenge on them in one fell swoop. Just want to make it to Iskandar. We didn't. We don't even want to fight against Gamblers in the first place. Is that really our only purpose? Something the matter? 
Dima, are you saying you want to fight against Gambles? I'm the head navigator. My primary objective is to get the Yamato and Earth 2 Tenku to Iskandar and then back to Earth safely. Anyone who wants to fight the Gamelins, Gamelins, it's you. Don't you want revenge for your brother? When I left Earth, I may have had some feelings like that. But since then I met Melda, fought in the AD and Universal Century dimensions, and I learned that maybe I don't have to fight the Gamelins. Kodai. You're right. Battles don't result in a winner and a loser. There's more to it than that. I don't think it's the same, actually. I haven't been able to forget when Melda was safe. That Earth actually attacked the Gamelins first? My dad died in battle the very first time Earth came into contact with the Gamelins. Oh. I had no idea. But I couldn't forgive her. I felt like she was insulting my father's legacy. Not anymore. Like Kodai have been all these battles with other dimensions, they've changed my mind about things. You can't change the fact that Earth and Gamelis went to war with each other. If that's the case, our job should be to try and end that war now. The way to do that might not even be in defeating Gamelis anyway. Earth got obliterated by those guys. I don't know how anyone could have any sympathy for them. Yeah, but getting rid of them won't bring Earth back either way. That's right. The only thing we need to focus on right now is making it to Iskan. Yeah, yeah, I know. You have to tell me for but if Gamblers tries to stop us, we'll not hesitate. Just if their base is all on the way to Iskandar, we should just take care of them along the way. Nothing but cause more conflict. Better ideas? Perhaps. Can't come up with anything? Just follow along. If nobody tries to think of anything, then nothing will ever get solved. Think the world is that simple? Maybe a bit idealistic. But I think if everyone just went around fighting with other against each other they're trying to think of other solutions what kind of world would that be never this is gundam double zeta emil Badan, who has grown up a lot as a person over the course of his series <clears throat> can't ignore them i know but it's good to talk things out like I suppose it's better than sitting in a mobile suit cockpit killing each other. That is an interesting statement coming from you, Ziazen. Considering that you're like the Blood Knight of Zeta and Double Zeta. Just talk things out with each other and who knows, maybe we'll come up with some kind of an idea. But we do have to end it. Deal with that when the time comes. Just hope fighting will lead to some understanding in the end. What do you think about all this, Lane? I only do my duty as a soldier. The wish were simple. That as much as I've fought against Londo Bell, I've come to see how it's possible to come to a mutual understanding. Amaro also said it was important to have the capacity to feel that way too. What about you, Riddy? I mean, you're a new type, aren't you? I, uh... I don't have to answer if you're not sh aren't sure. Yeah, everyone's gonna feel differently about this. It's normal. Besides, I'm sure you can understand. That's why I live my life the way I do. Ah, uh, the plues. Thank you, Meridia. You are his goddess of victory. Or his goddess of victory, after all. Okay, so what about you, Athway? How do you think this war should play out? I really don't know. And I just know it's not the right only force to try and solve things. That's for sure. This sort of thing only leads to a vicious cycle of pain and suffering. So I guess this is the end of the fighting. War changes people. Some for the better, some for the worse. That can also change the world. I felt that too. I'm sure. I've seen how you've changed. And thanks to that, I've been able to change for the better too. Major, do you mind telling us a little about your past? Sorry, I can't. Those two are changed. One day I hope to be able to come to accept my past as part of who I am today, though. Still have time to change. You do, don't you think? I certainly hope so. Don't know the purpose of the innovators that Eolia Scheinberg was talking about. We need to watch Gundam Double O. But now here we are out in the depths of space, hoping to learn something about from the Gamelins and in contact with out here. 
Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. 